Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, The 13 Days of Halloween, Jack's Spooktacular Countdown. The Nightmare Before Christmas, Part 1. It was October 31st in Halloween Town, and its residents celebrated another terrifying year. Everyone cheered for Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King and leader of their town. He thanked them for their most horrible Halloween yet. A rag doll called Sally gazed at Jack, longing to join him. But Dr. Finkenstein, the evil scientist who had created her, grabbed her arm. The deadly nightshade you slipped me wore off, Sally. Let go, she said as she struggled to get away. With one final tug, Sally escaped with her arm coming off at the seams. As the celebration continued, Jack slipped away. He was tired of Halloween, just like last year, he confessed, and the year before that. As he passed a tiny tombstone, his dog Zero floated up and joined him. Hidden, Sally watched Jack walk through the graveyard. Jack, I know how you feel, she admitted quietly. When Sally returned home, Dr. Finkelstein scolded her as he re reattached her arm. He was upset that she kept poisoning him and running away. Sally suggested that he make another creation that could take her place, but the scientist refused. In the forest, Jack and Zero wandered through the night farther than they have ever been before and soon found themselves in a strange place. When they came upon a mysterious circle of trees, Jack stopped and looked around. Each trunk had a door with a unique and colorful image, but Jack was drawn to the one with a decorated pine tree. He opened the door and looked inside. Then a gust of wind pulled him through the door, slamming it shut. A flurry of snowflakes surrounded Jack as he fell. And when he finally landed, he found himself on a snowy hilltop overlooking a beautiful little town sparkling with bright, colorful lights. Jack slid into the town where he found delicious smells and cheerful music and where everyone was happy. There wasn't a frightening thing in sight and Jack thought it was wonderful. Then he discovered its name. Christmas Town? Hmm, he said. Back in Halloween Town, everyone searched for Jack. Panic, the mayor sounded the alarm. Inside Dr. Finkelstein's mansion, Sally secretly added nightshade to the scientist's lunch. She added a few more ingredients to hide the poison, tricking him into thinking the soup was safe to eat. Satisfied, he ate it all up. The creatures of Halloween Town had nearly given up on finding Jack, but then he appeared, and he was excited to share what he had seen. Call a town meeting, and I'll tell everyone about it, he said. Everybody listened as Jack tried to explain Christmas Town, but the townspeople didn't seem to understand, and Jack was frustrated. He wanted them to feel the joy he had experienced. There's got to be a logical way to explain this Christmas thing, Jack thought. Jack rushed home and began researching Christmas. He locked himself in his tower, working day and night to figure it out. He longed truly to understand Christmas and wanted to share it with his town. Meanwhile, the nightshade had worn off. Dr. Flinkelstein was angry and he locked Sally away in the tower. But she jumped from the window. When she landed, her body fell apart at the seams. But she stitched herself back together. As Sally 
sat plucking flower petals, she suddenly saw a terrible vision, a beautiful Christmas tree bursting into flames. She knew it was a sign of things to come. To be continued.